Hey everyone, Wayne here. I'm excited for today's unboxing. We have Hot Off the Presses, Stilico, Last of the Romans, Solitaire Game Designed by Robert Dolesky, published by Holland Spiel. Um, if you don't know yet, this game is a spiritual successor, if not direct successor, to Wars of Marcus Aurelius, also designed by Robert Dolesky and published by Holland Spiel, which was a great um, game with a huge twist on Stage of Siege style. Um, yes, it has its roots in that, but it was so much more than that with the card play, having your hand hand of cards, um, and then choices you were able to make. So this one I've heard is even harder, but uh, just got it in, just made. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. Silico Last of the Romans. So we're going to have a medium-sized map sheet. Sorry for the glare, by the way. We'll get this plastic off in a second. 54 counters, 100 cards, 20-page rule book, two six-sided dice, one card display sheet. The Goths are marching on Rome. In Gaul, Vandals and Alans pour across the Rhine. Meanwhile, a usurper from the distant fringes of the Empire has raised his standard. The survival of the Western Empire depends on one man. Flavius Stilico, barbarian general, commander-in-chief of the armies of Rome, and de facto ruler of the West. Alright, exciting. Let's go ahead and pop her open and see what we got here. I'm super excited for this one, guys. Like I said, I've been watching, waiting. So I loved Mark Sorelli's Wars of Mark Sorelli's. I have uh, at least one video. It's one of my, I think, earlier videos. Like, the quality's not as good, but um, I thought I'd do even some more videos. But now that we got this one, we're going to go ahead and um, dig into this bad boy for sure. Give me that plastic. There we go. I like it. Simple. I like the cover. Looks good, though. All right. Take a look here. Oh, my cards! All right, so it looks like we have the uh, you have the um, plastic sleeves that go around the cards. Looks like they busted loose. They said we want to play, we want to have some fun, grab us, get some playing in. And I said, um, I need you to arrive in the mail here, guys. Go ahead and open here. So, well, I'm not gonna sweat them being out of the plastic. First of all, I intend to play this game, not just. Uh, stare at it um but cards look like they're in good shape anyway so oops slight little nick on that one it looks like no big deal all right get them organized here sorry about this guys i didn't know the cards would be loose so a little a little wild here in the box but that's okay file a complaint here I need to speak to your manager all right so okay let me just grab them out of here there's a hundred cards I feel like there weren't this many in the first uh wars of Marcus Aurelius so I'm gonna have to let me know below I can't I don't remember there being this many but anyway okay so here's the cards um I was a look at them first since we got them here in our hand I like the artwork so you have obviously you have the enemy deck and you have the uh Roman deck so, if you're, again, if you're familiar with the game at all, it's going to be similar to Wars of Marcus Aurelius. Um, so you're going to be drawing from the Roman deck for the Barbarians. It's going to tell you, you know, is there going to be unrest? Is it going to activate the enemies? Um, you're going to have surges. So, for instance, and I love how they did these. I saw a video how they did these uh, cards. I saw the cards when the college would put out a little bit, a couple little playthroughs for some of the aspects of the game. The Vandals, for instance, you can see there's two enemy cards. Vandals, Constantine the Third, you know, seeing who activates, the Vandals activate, and then when there's a surge, the Vandals, um, and then whatever that puzzle is. I have not really played the game, but uh, we're gonna learn it. We're gonna play it. So love the artwork. Love that each card, you know, that each card doesn't have separate artwork. It looks like it depends on uh, you know who activates the Vandals, um, Constantine, etc. So. You know, for the for us, for the Romans, you know, you're playing the Romans. Obviously, it's a solitaire game. Um, you have, you know, your action cards, different events that happen, um, different things like that. So, Frankish mercenaries, plus two Roman attack value, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We're gonna go through every card. We get it. It is a card-driven solitaire game. So, but I love the artwork on the back. I have to be honest with that. I really do. So, very cool. Okay, enough of that. Let's move on here. Come with a couple couple dice. You guys know me. Love dice. I have a million of them, so always wanna always glad to add. More cards here tucked away. 
can sort those later. All right, we'll go ahead and look at our... Uh... There's not a lot of counters. Okay, cool. So, um, one count on oh, half of a counter sheet, sorry, I should say. Um, standard Holland Spiel um, printed by Blue Panther. So you're getting, you know, the very the thick, almost wood-like counters. And I imagine they will, as usual, pop right out. Yep, so pop right out like that. Easy peasy. Garrison. Komitanzis. I cannot remember how to pronounce that at all. Um, late, late Imperial. Late, late Imperial. Um, Samachis. And then we have a Stilico here, up here. So... All right, pretty simple stuff. Um, Constantine, oop, Constantius, I mean, excuse me, Constantius here. Um, I'm so excited, I'm just throwing this thing around. You have the Goss, you have Constantine, you have the Vandals, and if you notice, there's different values. There's a higher value, lower value. I know it depends, I believe, on what part of the game. Olympias, his counter, revolts, etc., etc. So, not a ton of counters, because it is, a, you know, it's card-driven, driven by the cards on the map here. Let's go ahead and first take a look at the rule book before we dive into the map. So I'll probably set the map up properly here. So, all right. Oh, here we go. All right. He mentioned this. Um, Tom, and by he, I mean um, Tom Russell mentioned this, which is the. Um, so there's going to be a map, which I will spread out and show you guys here. Which will map kind of of you know where the um, barbarians are coming, right? And you can see you can get a hint of Gaul, Britannia, etc. Um, but the, uh, like display sheet here for the enemy cards, search spaces, enemy discard pile is actually the canvas. So they went ahead and this is not a special just for mine. This is, um, I believe, um, for any of them, they were going to be the can canvas, which is really cool. Um, I really like how the canvas feels. It looks good too. I mean, obviously though, I think the printing is just great on here if you can look at it. So I really like how they did that. So go ahead and set that aside. All right, now the rule book. Um, we're going to have a color rule book. It said 20 pages. Looks like we have the player aid on the back here. In color, we're going to go ahead and have... I find uh, Holland Spiel's rule books to be very well done, clear to read. You're going to see some uh, examples in here. You know, I'm going to show you some stuff. Here, for instance, here's an example um, of enemy collisions, it's called, in the enemy phase how to activate you know what what it means activate or embolden um surges oathbreaker get into the roman phase etc etc you know all all nicely done um again we don't need to go over every single thing but i do like how that is how the rule books are set up in general and at the end yep so you're going to see the enemy cards and also the roman cards i want to see if it had that which is really nice that it has that so it'll kind of explain a different card if you really want to read you know, oh, Frankish mercenaries, that one's easy, right? But Franks often serve as mercenaries in the Roman army. Some of them maybe is more of, hey, some history on here, you know, that type of thing. So, very cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause the video because I'm going to get this map set up. All right, so here's the maps all set up. Um, I do have it under Plexi, so it is a paper map. Um, nice quality. It's that, um, not glossy finish, but the matte finish. So I think I really like those types of maps. Um, works very well. I have it under Plexi, like I said, because I do like to keep it totally flat. Um, I'm sure you could counterbend it a little bit and just have it out if you wanted to. But I want to have the camera loose here. We're going to take a look um, the whole map. So Stilico, Last Romans. It is the western part of the empire, right? So we're talking about Italia, um, Illyricum, Italia, Anoria, Gallia, you know, Gaul, um, Septum Province. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and then Hispania down here and Britannia. So you know, you're looking at where they're coming from, you know, Con Constantine III coming from Britannia, etc. We'll be coming in and you can see Vandals coming on the track. So it is, you know, Stage of Siege style. Goths come from over here. Um, and you want to go ahead and stop them. So I just want to look at the map. Like I said, I'm not going to explain the game right now. We'll go ahead and we'll look at the game later on. But I like how the map is done. Everything stands out. It's really, you have kind of muted colors for the background. And then the different spots stand out really well. I know it was one of the few criticisms of Workers of Marcus Aurelius was the map. Sometimes it was hard to tell where some of the spaces were, how they were defined, where you move uh, enemy units. This one, it's simple. It's, there you go. You know, you got it covered, but at the same time, you're still able to see sort of the whole big area. So... And then the only thing to comment... Um, 
is yes, uh, Galatia here is actually spelled wrong. They know that. Um, this is a review copy, so I assume this is an early review copy that was not, that didn't have that map fixed, so, or that particular little thing right here, so, right there. Um, so that will be spelled correctly, I'm pretty sure, in the final, final version. Like I said, this is a review copy that was sent to me, so. All right, um, that is Stilico, Last of the Romans. I do want to thank Collinspiel for providing this review copy to me. Um, we're in, you know what, guys? We're going to dig into this. So it's not going to be long. And I'm going to have some videos out. We're going to do some playthroughs, maybe teaching. There's already a couple good videos out from Hollandspiel themselves. So go ahead and check those out. Um, they're on their, their YouTube channel. They're also linked on Board Game Geek through the game. Um, but otherwise that, yeah, we're going to have some fun with this game. So uh, let me know what you guys think below. And until uh, next time, later.